Monday, May 25, 2020, has been declared by the Ministry of Interior as a holiday. This is to mark the Eid, Eid the Fitil celebration that our Muslim community um, they are enjoying or celebrating. And we are here at Kokobite Beach Resort, one of the popular beaches in the Greater Accra region. It's obvious that the ban on public gathering has halted activities here and that you can't see a number of people here. But I'll speak to some few people who have seen activities here in the years past. I have with me a bell called Papa Few. He is a resident of Kokrobite. Today being a holiday, um, we indigenous and also um, people who live around and also man um, the borders of Kokrobite Beach. Um, we were expecting um, not anything less than 10,000 people coming from far and near to come and enjoy themselves so that we, we the indigenous can also find means of also getting revenue out of them, out of that. In respect to people who come to sell, you find anything that you, you would like to eat when you come uh, on a day like this, you are supposed to find it around. And also um, the young guys who also live in the community, it is an opportunity that as they man the borders of um, the beach, they, they, re they get money as a result of that. Some of these young guys also um, position themselves at places where they can also park um, the visitors who are coming, their cars, and watch over their cars. And when you are coming for your car, you pay a token. And um, like a day like this, we, we, um, the indigents of Kokrobite, who most, are, most of them who are women, um, get the opportunity to, to sell and also make money today. The story is something else. Nothing seems to happen in Kokrobite. It's for, for we, um, it's sad. Um, it, it not, it's, it's not sad because um, people doesn't come, but it's sad because um, the pandemic has, allowed, has not allowed us today being a holiday for us to enjoy the holiday. I have to say congratulations to the, the Ghana police um, service and also to um, the police department here. This this morning they, they have been here and those who came I don't think um, they, they are from this department. Uh, they may have come from other um, departments but this morning for instance they've been, they've been here to sensitize us that we should not encourage people to come in around at this time. So I'll speak to Stephen Arthur. He is also a resident of Kokrobite. It affects my business too much. Like about now here, or oh, people scatter for here plenty. Everybody they here. People every the book go up and down and come. The women they they here today they sell. Now nobody go fish sell. The boys wait to you then they around. You know, today make a lot of money, small, 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 small. Me myself, I get my quite at the park car where I will take money. In the nice that if you get like thousand five hundred CDs, but now everything makes banya. So we just they pray to God make the COVID go make good normal business inside. That's what we talk about. So, like last year, 2019, how many people parked their vehicles at your garage? Oh, over 300. Over 300 vehicles at my garage. And apart from that, we had about five to 6,000 cars parked around Kukulubiti up to Langba. But now, because of the COVID, Charlie, we are here, nothing. Is going on. Kokrobite Beach Resort is equally a well-known um, beach resort in the Greater Accra region. Erona Champon, as the operations manager, he will tell me about the situation here and uh, how individuals would have trooped in here because it's a holiday. The facility is totally locked down, just like facility is gone. But then we also have a, a place waiting, probably on a. Any other day, a normal day, we would have had about 1,500 people walking through our gates today. But as you can see, it's virtually like a cemetery. There's nobody in here. Just because of the government, uh, what do you call it, uh, gone about the pros, we have to keep the beaches closed and all that. So when the 1,005 individuals come here, what are some of the activities they engage in and uh, 
if you sell revenue, if maybe for TV purposes, you may not mention the amount, but any estimate you are looking at and if the activities, you can elaborate on that more for us. Um, well, with the, with the activities, we have, uh, when they go to the beach, we have a beach volley. They play soccer as well. And then we have, sometimes we have cultural troops coming here to perform. And so if you are somebody who likes to dance to traditional cultural troop music, you are engaged in that as well. And also we have a tag of war. We have uh, people playing indoor games. We have games we bring out. And so basically the activities are countless. For businesses, I think that the, the government should also be able to, to speed up whatever uh, tests and then whatever measures they have in place. Make sure that we are safe. And, and for us, I think uh, there should be a bit of uh, flexibility. You know, for, for Bojo Beach, like I said, our place is very big. And so this social distancing issue can, can be worked out very easily here. And so I think that it needs to be a bit uh, customized or strategized for whatever establishment it is. Because if you can see, uh, if you go to the beach as well, you can have distancing issues going on. And then it means that there should, there should have a bit of a flexibility for some uh, establishments that can uh, keep the social distancing thing in place. Because in other places in the world, they, they are open up and then they are con having controlling measures on the social distancing part of it. So on a day like this, which is a holiday, individuals who will visit the various beaches, that is Kokrobite Beach, Bocho Beach, and all the beaches along this stretch will be found here. The reason is they are supposed to be transported to the various beaches. But today, the situation is different. I'm speaking to some of the drivers at the GPRTU Aplaku branch, which is located at Baria, to find out what the situation is like. Um, the thing is, this time around, our work is not moving fast because of this lockdown and then the sickness. Actually, at times we make a lot of money, but this time around, our everything is poor. Business is very poor. Today is very, today is holiday, but we, we get it poor because this place is not moving. And then the markets, those who are going to market to, today, to not a lot of people go there. Actually, it's, it, holidays here used to move, but because of this lockdown, you are not seeing anything because they are not moving to the beach. And they are not going to more because if there is a holiday like this, you used to take people to more, you used to take people to the hotels. But now, because of this lockdown, you have fit as locked. I used to take people to town, and by 12, I have to live here. What of taking people to the beaches, uh, Kokrobite Beach, Bojo Beach, Bojo and all beach. those? Uh, you used to take people to beach because here is, I mean, industrial, uh, let's say, uh, here is a uh, uh, coastal area. So, they used to come a lot because we have a lot of beach here. Atulu, Tuba, Langba, we all here. It's a beach site. Uh -huh. But because of this lockdown, everything has, I mean, special. Our drivers here, even like you came here, you know, because of this lockdown, like you know, we see any cars here. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.